something wrong with you. Oh, guys welcome or welcome back to my channel we are in the Krispy Kreme parking lot because wait why did I come to Krispy Kreme to film this video I don't know I really wanted this snack and then while I was in the car I was like boom a perfect time to film for this video because I'm doing an updated Christian playlist recommendations I figured what better place to do it than in a car because if you are a real one you know the last time I did this video I didn't have a car but now your girl is whipped up so I'm like boom let's do this in the car where I listen to this music anyway so make sure to like comment subscribe and let's get into the tunes because to be honest i personally think i find the best christian music let's not forget i was on madison ryan ward before all y'all i think that speaks enough all right you guys i'm just going to be giving y'all a couple of songs that i have been having on repeat to really get me through this christian walk because as you know secular music while it's not forbidden it definitely does not help your spirit it definitely does not put you in the heart posture the mindset to then go before the throne of God and pray with a whole heart. That's not me saying if you listen to secular music, you're bad, wrong, sinning, whatever. But when you are making any decision in life, what you should wear, where you should go, where you should live, who you should be with, you should always be thinking, how does God feel about this situation? Preferably, you would have God lead you to that decision. But if that decision is glorifying to God, I think that will let you know if it's something that you should be doing more of or less of secular music is just something that i've cut out completely for times in my life right now i am in that weird space where i'm still listening to some love songs some r&b but majority of the time i try to listen to either christian music a podcast or i have been listening to bible readings which have been helpful but when i am listening to some christian music here are some songs that i recommend overall these are all bangers y'all and i promise you because i do not like the corny christian music I don't, I don't. This is not one of them, but let's just get into it. So the first artist I'm gonna mention is Naomi. She has two songs that I have on repeat at the moment, Need You and Home. What I really like about her, her music is made in the genres that we love, but obviously talking about God. She has a house genre, you know, that kind of like, mm, mm. I don't like house music per se. There are some house songs that I like. She also has this early 2000s R&B feel, kind of like the Cheetah Girls type song. I really like it. I like to diversify my Christian playlist because I'm naturally a R&B kind of girl. I like the Snow Allegra, Alex Isley, Sabrina Claudio, her. I tend to gravitate towards that genre of music. So when you get Christian music that kind of has that same feel oh it's a win for me need you home Naomi n-a-o-m-i and it's all uppercase that girl is on to something and I don't think she has that many songs correct me if I'm wrong though I'm gonna insert her Spotify and all that on here I don't think she has too many songs but I know for each of these people I kind of did a little scroll through found the ones that I liked and listen these are just the ones that I have on repeat yeah girl I really mess with her the next girl I'm going to mention is Aja A H J A H she has this song called can't get enough I can, I can't get enough of your love. Her, I really like that song. That song is just, I don't know. I remember I was riding in the car one time and I had obviously added this song to my playlist, but it came on and I was like, what is this? I can't, I can't get enough of your love. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh God, this is God. This is about God. It's a really catchy little tune. It has an R&B pop kind of feel. I found her on TikTok as well. And when I looked, I don't think she has that many songs either, but that is a very good song. Perfect for a moment like this when it's that evening time, the sun is behind the clouds, but it's still light out, riding, vibing, windows down. I can't get enough of your love. 
thank you jesus okay this one she's one of my favorites she's one of them ones her name is lauren milne now girl first of all one thing i do notice about christian songs they tend to be short like madison why are your songs two minutes flat a minute and 30. i love you girl but i need songs that i can put on for a while you know besides my maverick city lauren them songs are like six seven minutes and i love them she is one of my new favorite artists for them songs alone she has a song take me to the promised land come lord take my hand and then jesus you're my savior place you're my safe place ain't no doubt about it ain't no doubt about it y'all i love that song what i really like about this new era i'm entering into the christian music is that i genuinely like these songs i know in the very beginning you kind of have to nudge yourself to really like these songs that's how i felt about most christian artists besides madison ryan ward before this but all of these artists that i'm listening to right now i genuinely like these songs i vibe out like, i hear them and it puts you into a good headspace because you get to sing about your love for jesus in a song genre that you actually love and hers are long so you really get to sit there and just bask in it i know she has worship songs as well it sounds like she's actually in a church singing and bringing the holy spirit into the room so she has songs like that too but obviously that's less of a song and more of a vibe i don't know but these are my personal favorites all right now that we're on the topic of favorites this song this song not only resonates with me because i love it period but it resonates with the point that i am in life right now her name is francesca and the song is created for this i know y'all have heard this on tiktok before i was created for this yeah i've been waiting on this i taking my shot i won't miss taking my shot it's a little cringy at the little switch part to me like there are certain cringy parts of some of these songs but that doesn't matter anyway love this song it really resonates with me especially at this point in my life because i feel like i'm in that time frame where god is like okay Jalen, i brought you to this place i have things for you i have lessons for you i have people for you i need you to move i need you to act i need you to do i need you to do the things you said you would do in those seasons before when you got in this season and so i'm sitting here like god i was created for this moment i was created for this time i was created for this place and i'm created for the things that you have for me so when i first heard this song i cried i cry when i listen to this song sometimes not because it's sad but it's just it really hits me and it's that sultry feel that i love that deep r&b that i love she did her thing with this one i can't lie one of my favorite songs by far all righty now we are on our last two honorable mentions of songs songs and artists that I'm feeling and think that you should take a listen to. Now this song, I know it's old. His name is Joe Batten, B-A-T-A-A-N. His song is the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. He's singing that, but it's an old school vibe, completely old school, like that Temptations kind of feel. I personally love old school music. I love me some 60s music. I love me some 70s music, 80s music. I love those songs. So this has that feel to it it's less of a upbeat one and more of i'm not gonna say sad but more of a pondering like you put this on to ponder to think but i love this song and that ties us into the last one i think we all know this song amen 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 speaking of singing the lord's prayer my good girl madison amen i think i like songs that just simply say the lord's prayer don't get lost in the beat and the hypeness and the artists of these songs let's focus on god let's appreciate the fact that we are singing the lord's prayer in a way that we like our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come meditate on that we get to meditate on our word through a song that we really like that is fresh and new and connects to us in this time in our lives y'all the way we have music that we can relate to it's not all donnie mcclurk and it's not all kirk it's not all hezekiah like we get to have a little pep in our step singing the lord's prayer thank you father for bringing all of these talented individuals into the light i'm thanking god for every single person on this list because they are killing it there's 
there's really no excuse to not listen to Christian music at this point. I do agree that there are a plethora of corny ones, but if you look, search, you will find your vibe in there. And I'm not even gonna lie and act like this has always been the case because all of these songs are on the newer side. All of these songs besides the Joe Batten one probably haven't even been out for two years. So don't get me wrong, I do understand that. It's a slow process, but we are there y'all where we can be youthful Christians who enjoy our lives, but are constantly listening and partaking things that edify our father. Do you love your father? because he loves you. Let the music you listen to represent that. Thank y'all for watching this video. I am dumb hyped about all of this music that I've been listening to. Leave some recommendations down in the comments. I know on my last video, some people left recommendations in the comments there. So maybe take a look. Maybe you might like some of the music they dropped down there. Maybe you might vibe more with what I came up with. Thank y'all for tuning in. I will see y'all in my next video.